Hey everyone, this is going to be the last video I post for the year. So, before we part ways, I would like to say to each of you, congratulations. You made it. What a crazy ride we've been on these past few months. I would like to share with you a few thoughts of mine, as well as some encouraging thoughts before you go. This year has not been an easy one. Not on any of us. If history teaches you anything, is that we all have our own stories to tell. Each of you has your own unique story to tell. Each of you had to finish this chapter of your story on your own and in your own way. Some of you experienced a more difficult chapter than others. For some of you, this was a low trench in your life. It may in fact feel like you were or still are stuck in the Marianas Trench. But I want you to know that this is not the final chapter in the story that you are writing. At times, it may feel like the world is working against you. That maybe even a higher power is working against you. But know that this is temporary. This will pass. This is not perpetual. The situation that we have had to endure the past several months will change, and I know it will change for the better. To each of you who are hurting, scared, upset, or worried, know that these situations are not what define you. What defines you is how you overcome the difficult situations that you will have to face in your life. I want you to know that I'm proud of each and every one of you. You accomplished something extraordinary. For the first time in history, all of public education was provided remotely. There was not the same direct support available that you would have had if you were in the classroom together. You received far lower guidance than any teacher would ever want you to have. You had to rise to this challenge, in part because there was no other way. Each of you had to make your own learning schedule. That is something that takes determination and steadfastness. Each of you had to prioritize education in your own time. You weren't stuck at school for six hours and told you had to. You were home. Many of you were surrounded by the distractions of life and obligations that may have gotten in your way of learning. Maybe even quite frequently. You may have had to help out a tremendous amount around the house and take care of your siblings or your family members because your parents were still essential workers but you still found a way to place education as a priority in your life. And you did it. And that is no minor feat. It was and is something amazing and extraordinary. And you should be proud of yourself. And to the family members who may be watching this with you, you too should be proud of yourselves. You've had to juggle something that you should never have had to. On top of your already busy schedule, you now had to become, in part, a teacher. Providing a lot of guidance and support. What a tremendous amount of work you've had to endure. But you too did it. And you are doing it. And to you, I say thank you. And a special heartfelt thank you to all the essential employees out there. Be proud of your children, for they have done something amazing. But take a few moments and be proud of yourselves as well. You deserve it. In closing, I want to wish each of you all the best. 2020 is a year that none of us will forget, although many of us wish we were able to. Good luck to each of you, and keep up the amazing work. Continue to meet the challenges head on 
and keep working on your story. It is already looking like a bestseller. Congratulations to the middle school class of 2020 and good luck to the high school class of 2024. Best wishes.